welcome my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today is a whole kind of day um I am not wearing any makeup I'm sorry I was just like well so Mecca got me the other day Mecca is one of our Australian stores that sells a lot of makeup but they sent me this email that was like level three exclusive treat for you and then I looked at it further and I needed to spend $35 to get free shipping essentially and it was only online but I was so tempted and sometimes you know shiny things they just get me so I did a lot of some stuff and I can actually tell you my thoughts on it because I've been playing with it so one of the things I ordered was the Smashbox lid primer Annette my lovely friend at Annette's makeup corner has been playing with this a lot so I was like well I'll give it a try I've used it once I've used it a couple times I'd say it's pretty comparable to the MAC Paint Pot. Um, I've actually just been to Adelaide this weekend for a friend's wedding and I wore, this is my eyeshadow primer. I'll put what the eyeshadow ended up looking up at the end of the night. And I don't know, I wasn't too impressed, but I'm happy to keep trying and see how it goes. And I also picked up a new Juno sponge. I already have this one in the blue over here. It's a bit dirty. But they came out with pink and it's so cute. I love it. But um, I have a bit of a sponge problem. You will see soon. Anyway, so I thought it would be fun to do this mask with you while I go through all the things I bought. So it's a rose gold brightening facial treatment mask. Do you want me to read it? I'll take a picture. I'll link it down below. Then you can just read all about it. Uh, but it's by the brand 111 Skin. Apparently it will diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. 24 karat gold enhances skin radiance to brighten an even skin tone. Reinforces and protects skin barrier and rejuvenates the nourishes lackluster skin. So I, I've already, I've cleansed my face. Mm -hmm. Leave on for 20 minutes. I'm intrigued. I've been getting a bit more into my skincare lately. As you can see, I have like a pretty bad acne flare up and <clears throat> I've just started taking doxycycline for them, which is an antibiotic, because I've been trying so hard for so long to get rid of them. And we've tried so many different AHAs, BHAs, salicylic acids. I feel like I've gone down the rabbit warren. So this apparently is, I think it was $39. And they sent this out to all level three, which means you spent a lot of money at Mecca. Um, but it, it feels like one of those things that like I just, I didn't need to buy. So I thought I might as well like use it for, you know, a video. Oh, right, already we are wet. So it's got two, it's got like this white side and then it's also got this clear side. And it says to remove both of those. Oh, it smells really nice. All right, this is not too bad around the eyes. I don't know how. I forgot about the part where your hands get really gross and then like my lips are really tiny so it just wants to keep falling down see on my lip I guess I can just ignore that but we're not getting much under eye action which I feel like if you want radiance that's like the under eyes like where it's at isn't it it's got still like the mouth and eyes didn't really tell me what to do with these but I feel like my pimples could do with some extra radiance. Uh, it's like the gap by my nose. And we still got the lips. I wonder. Oh yeah. That kind of works, doesn't it? Oh, there's a cat behind me. Can you see her? She's usually up on a thing, so it's a bit weird. I guess she must be entertained. Alright, I'm going to go up on this lip part. I don't know what to do with it. Let's cover this. Beautiful. Let's dry my hands and show you what I've got. Alright, so. Oh, I did get like, um, remember I did my Coloured Rain Mystery unboxing. They did send me out the new lip colour and I ended up ordering just for like, they, they gave me a voucher. I don't know, I feel a bit dodgy. But I ended up ordering the Lovelies palette from them, which is super cute. So now I have three of their mini ones. I just don't have the gold rust one. 
because it's work. I've got lovely smoke show as and very cute, which I'm pretty excited about. So because I've been away, sort of all my orders came in, but my Kaleidos makeup order finally came. I've been so excited for these. They came beautifully packaged. Kaleidos do the most amazing like overseas packaging. I don't think you'd ever have to worry about their shadows breaking. I've got their cute little a message from the future. And it was sort of wrapped up. It looked very beautiful. I took a picture of the bow. I'll put it up there because I was just like, it's so cute. And these are the new ones. I do have the collection of their original and I love them. But they are on loan at the moment so I can't compare them. But the packaging on these is actually a little bit different. It is embossed, which is super cool. And like, whew, it's just like right up my colour story. I wish, I believe these are just limited edition, which I think is such a shame. Because they are so beautiful. I don't know. This packaging is just like a little bit extra special from the previous packaging. And it, yeah. I don't know. I'm so excited to play with these. I also, I got like my first tribe box. Um, like the tribe beauty box. I was going to film a video about it, but I was so tired from night shift I didn't. And it's now like, I think these boxes have been out for like three months, three weeks. So I don't think it was worthwhile to talk about um but i did take the i think i got the box for this somewhere yeah i took the lux lip treatment gloss which is here that's from cass cosmetics and i freaking oh it's by ruby may okay so those are the same guys who made the eyeshadow palette i got um, I love this lip gloss. It's so lovely. I wore it at my friend's wedding and I used it as my like top up. But it's like a really fun sort of iridescency shade. And it's got a bit of a nice shimmer to it. I really enjoyed it. I think it's like one of my new favourite lip glosses. It just is a bit like it's got a bit of that nude colour in there, but it's like a bit fun too. So like I don't know, I really enjoy. Um and it's like, yeah, there's a bit of glitter in there. It's hard to show you. But is really nice. I obviously got like the Brights palette from Ruby May. I don't know. This reminds me of like my Bombshell Cosmetica palette so much. Which I don't, I don't know. I'm not doing this I'm really trying but I did end up getting, we can talk about him quickly. Divinity from Creepy, like the Stroke Cosmetics and Creepy Cute, which has just been, wow, that magnet is strong. Which has just been like one that I've wanted for so long. I did a full video on these already. Using every shade and had like a lot of fun. I have ordered from... Oh yeah. I haven't tried the... Sorry, back to the Tribe Beauty Box. I haven't tried this one out yet. I did like give this a spritz. And oh my god, I thought Annette was making it up with that spray. But this is intense. I don't know like if there's a good way. It just... Ooh. It's vicious. Like it comes right for you. It definitely needs to be decanted. I think I'll see. I'll see if I feel like it's worth it. I got a order from Beautylish. I just like. I don't know. I love the way they package shit up. And the little fake box. It's like the cutest thing ever. I can't read who packaged it, but that's cool. Anyway, from Beautylish, the sample I got. I haven't actually had a sample in my last two orders. I think from them. But I got the VDL Luma Layer Primer. And this is a primer that I actually already have from the Lucky Box. The, the Lucky Bag Box. The Lucky Box. Um, it's very luminescent. Very glowy. So I don't know. I'm curious to try it a little bit more and see what I think. Um, I needed free shipping again. And look. This is the Juno sponge. It's flat. And apparently it's like a brush. I don't know. I'm super curious to try it. It'll be interesting. I wonder like, if you could apply a bronzer with it. Yeah. I don't know. But you're meant to use it dry and then use it wet. That just seems a bit stupid to me. Because, yeah, you put cream on before powder. But, look, I've, I've got three Geno sponges now. It doesn't really matter. But I'm curious to give that a whirl out as applying powder and see how it goes. Uh, let me know if you've got, like, that Juno sponge. If you've seen it or you've been curious. And then I also... Well, yeah, we needed more free shipping. So I picked up one of the new shades from Sugar Pill. Um, I just chose that Arsenic, which is like this monkey, this green. I don't know. I just really liked it. 
It's like a yellow green. It's so weird. Um, and I wanted to try one of the new shades because, like, why not? But I found out that Sugar Pill is on Glam Radar, which is like for us Australians. Uh, they do express shipping at like over 30 bucks or something. So I could have bought this Sugar Pill palette and got express shipping. Except instead, I had to wait for Beautylish. And they're a bit slow sometimes. But I did get the cute little fun size palette. Oh my god, it's just like. It is adorable. I wasn't going to buy it, but then Annette sold me on it. And I bought it. Oh my god, look, that's just so much fun to look at. So I don't know. I'm going to play with that soon, too. Um, from where are we at now? Oh, so Reefer Cosmetics, Reefer, Reefer, um, they have their concept, concept store open now. Oh, I forgot about this. But, oh look, I, I might put a lot of things. But Beautylish have these brushes on there, the Unit 201 brush this was super cheap so I got this brush for like five US dollars and it's like really cute and small I thought it would just be super fun to try um but it's by a brand called units and it's the unit 201 unit 201 detail brush it's really nice weighted it feels quite good quality I'm pretty impressed yeah it's definitely got like a little bit more weight to it than my Jessup brushes Morphe yeah, it's feeling like it's a little bit lighter than a Morphe brush, but I'm excited to play with it and see what I think. And so Refer have their concept store open and like how cute was this packaging lady? It posted to me pretty quickly. Uh, so I've been super jealous of all of the beauty gurus, people, beauty influencers that I watch who've been testing out all these brushes and getting them all for free. I signed up for the Kickstarter and I still have to wait till December. But then they sent me an email about their concept store. So this is the number three brush. I'll like maybe link it down below, but if you signed up for the Kickstarter, you got some money for it. So because I signed up for the Kickstarter program, I think I got a $10 coupon. And then for every dollar you spend in the concept store, you get a discount. So this brush was normally 24 US dollars. I got it for nine US dollars and then it was $10 shipping. What did I gotta say? So I paid 19 US dollars for this ship for this including shipping. And it came beautifully wrapped. I really like it. So it took pretty much two weeks exactly to get to me. But it comes in this cool box. And now I can try these damn brushes. I mean like oh, I don't know. You know like some like have a sometimes there's something that just makes you super jealous of other people and you're like, I really want to try these brushes. Everyone's trying them. Like, and I'm such a micro, I don't even know if I can, I'm considered a micro influencer because I don't think that's to get a thousand, but I'm like such a nobody that like no one's ever going to send me a brush. So I'm excited to have the chance to pay for the experience. And it's kind of a cool idea. And this is just like one of those cute little small brushes. So you can see, and did I, I already feel away. Like compared to my unit brush, it's just like a little bit more small, choppy. I don't know curious to try it and see what I think and I'm excited to finally have like a, a refer brush in my collection finally from menagerie cosmetics the violet ink palette came through it looks like it's like been through something I don't know what happened to this palette uh, it came to me all smashed as you can see in this picture I think I've pretty well like fixed it up now but they're still pretty delicate I'm a bit scared of putting them up that way to show you too much but they were cute I also bought a whole heap of singles or I bought four singles from them one of my beautiful friends on Instagram she was awake when I was ordering I think I must have been posting at the same time um, when I ordered the violet ink palette and she helped me choose out the singles to get and I don't know if I told you but like I actually do have the which is the other palette I have I did buy the Feral palette a little while ago, and I feel like I keep saying a next name, but um, Annette in the next map corner helped me choose out some other singles to collect with it. Because I was like, well, what shades do I really need from the Dragon Child palette? And she select she helped me choose out these four shades to pick up, and then another friend was awake when I was ordering these, and she helped me. Sorry, that means that I think it was like three in the morning when I ordered these. So I've ordered some four singles from the Whale Song palette. One of them was a bit smashed. Um, where are you now? So I've kind of fixed it, but I lost like half of the shade. 
when it was out. I believe this is a whale, whale song metallic. So these were like the four shades I thought were really kind of like a little bit special. Not that they're not all special from the whale song palette, but I wasn't going to pay shipping for the restock of the whale song palette. So I do like that she includes, she has the singles available for the previous palette. So I sort of chose out four of the most unique shades I thought from that palette. From, I'm so scared to pick them up when I don't have like a home. Oh, they do have a home. So I love like the little details I've got here. Thank you, we pour love into everything we do. Much love, Samantha. Little thing, the green paper and I almost got, I bought her single, her like empty palette so I can put all my shades in here. So Annette sold me on the Besties eyeshadow. We got Sleeping Dragon. Flame Tongue. Ooh. And Myth or Legend, which looks just stunning. So I'm not too sure, they are actually pretty tight if you want to put them in next to each other. Like if you wanted them in a row of three. Yeah, like, let's, so say I put this one up here, I can't easily push it between those. So once they're all in there, they're in there to stay. Um, which I mean, I think I probably will end up filling this out with Menagerie Shadows and just having a very unique collection in here. But this is like my singles I have from there. Violet ink, the reefer brush. I think I've shown you everything I bought. Um, so I just been, I have been feeling a bit bad about doing hauls because I feel like sometimes I don't always get to the products uh, and use them as much as I'd like to. It's just that because I work pretty much full time, it's hard to keep up making contact content, and sometimes it's really hard to just be in the mood. Um, but I'm excited to. I'm just starting a new job uh, for the next six weeks, uh, so I'll be on a bit more regular hours and I feel like I'm going to try and get into a good routine with YouTube because I just, I love playing my makeup and I love sharing it with you guys. It makes me so happy. Anyway, we've been on for 20, 21 minutes. This mask, shall we pull it down? I've been getting eyeshadow on it everywhere. That's what I'm doing. I am. So are you meant to massage it in? I feel like why not? All right, so I'm not like a very good mask expert. I'm not very good at using masks. I do like I don't mind them, but I've rubbed it all in. I feel like that's like it's all about the serum, isn't it? All right, I'll take off this little. And like I kind of do think it's crazy that anyone would spend thirty nine dollars on a mask. Oh, my face feels like free. It's not too sticky. I just had a look at reviews quickly and they said it was quite sticky. Mm, I wouldn't say it was sticky. So do let me know if there's a palette you want to see me play with first. I would love to hear your opinions, what you think you were excited to hear. So let's have a feel on my face. Um, yeah, so it's a bit dry here where I just like was letting go. I think the face shape was a bit weird. It was very round. Oh wait, you just rub it in. It was very cooling and nice. I do like that feeling. Do the pimples look any different? You would be able to tell better than I can. Um, I don't think it made any difference, really. I don't know. Can you see a difference? Because I can't. Um, if it was nice, I don't think I don't think it's worth the money. I don't think it was worth me buying those things. No, actually, I'm I'm excited. I'm glad I've got the Smashbox primer and the Juno sponge. They're just like super cute. And then look how sad this is from the Menagerie single of the Whale song. Uh, but you can see there's just like oh all the shadow that fell out and i lost i did lose a heap when i opened it as well um but i have emailed menagerie i'm just waiting for a response and i guess like maybe when i post this up i'll post a link on my stories and see what they say or should i message them i guess or dm them i'll dm her if i haven't heard from her till tomorrow i don't know you gotta give them like a reasonable amount of time and i'm sure they're quite busy with the violet ink palette waters because like it's so cute all right, anyway, let me know what you think of all the things I bought today. And yeah, thank you so much for coming back. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. If it's your first time here, I'd love it if you would consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. And I, you know, you're awesome. Don't forget that. 
I'm probably, I think I'm going to go treat myself today. I feel like I need a massage. It's been like a hectic week. And then I'm going to come back and play with some makeup. Which is like my favorite kind of de-stress. <laughs> um, oh, I did want to ask you one thing. So I thought, so Coles, which is one of our big shopping, one of our big shopping, uh, like, what's up? I don't know where Americans buy food from, but like it's a supermarket. Anyway, they had this cute minis thing. I thought this was super cute, this little shopping trolley thing. But I thought it would be fun to do a shop my stash. So I did, I'm not sure how shop my stash videos go. I've never watched one. But I did select some some products out that I've not really played with much. And I thought that could be fun to do while I'm doing a regular job for a while. And give you my thoughts on them. Uh, let me know what you think. Is there something you'd be interested in seeing from me? Anyway, thank you so much. I absolutely appreciate it. I adore you.